Next, I want to show you a comparison so that you can understand what the price looks like doing it through Farmer's Keeper versus just selling futures on the board. So there's a lot going on here in this slide, but I'm going to break it down for us. And the top uh, row here, I've got about the average price that we've been looking at for December corn, November beans, and July wheat. And if we look right now on the CME at the next row, the cost of one contract of margin, 5,000 bushels, for corn is $1,700, $2,800 for beans, and $3,200 for wheat. So if you were going to margin 100,000 bushels of corn and go out and sell, which some of you just live on this call do as a normal sale for yourselves, you've got to put up today, the day you man it, the day you make that sale in futures on the board, you would have to, for 20 contracts, you would have to put up about $34,000 in order to hedge that grain. You want to do that on your operating loan? Well, if you look at the at the HTA cost per contract through Farmer's Keeper at the rate that comes off of your settlement check, our our harvest rate for an HTA is nine cents for corn and 13 cents for beans. So when you compare that times 5,000 bushels, that's only $450 that you have to pay, which if we look at the bottom on corn, that's a 73% savings versus doing it on the board. On wheat, it's the biggest. It's actually 81%, almost 82% savings versus selling your grain on the board. Those of us who have the cash flow for that, do you want to do that at 7.5%? Others of us might look at a $0.09 cent HTA on corn and say, well, I, you know, I live right outside of St. Louis and I get free HTAs or 2 or $0.03 cent HTAs. Well, if the difference in basis between the elevators that you deliver to is no more than five or 10 cents, it probably doesn't make sense to do your HDA through Farmer's Keeper. You should take that business directly to your grain elevators because you're going to get pretty much the same elevator in a St. Louis market, for instance. You're going to get the pretty much the same basis bid from any of the big ABCDs. So you might as well get their cheap HTA, right? You don't need basis flexibility. But on the other end, extreme example, those of us in the Dakotas or out in the Western Plains, you can see, especially like a lot of us did at Harvest here, you can see a 50 cent to a dollar basis swing between one elevator to the next. And that creates a lot of value for you. So we're not just looking at what's the cost versus doing it on the board where you can just liquidate it and then make a cash sale wherever we know that's a lot cheaper through farmers keeper but you've got to also look in the cash market and say is it worth it for me to do an hta that might be a little more expensive by the way not necessarily more expensive for all of us uh in this group those of you in those other states actually pay more for htas at the elevator but you've got to figure is my difference in basis at my local elevators greater than spending nine cents on an HTA? Do the math. If you do it on the board, your HTA is a cost per bushel on margin for soybeans is 56 cents. So you margining one contract of soybeans is 56 cents off of that. And there's no guarantee that you're not going to have to make a margin call on that. There's no guarantee that you're going to hit the high of the market. So the point of this is just to demonstrate that there are different reasons for different times to use those three tools available, either a direct sale at your elevator when you don't have as much of a difference in basis between one elevator to the next. You might as well do a three cent or free HTA, which by the way, nothing is free. When you get a free HTA at the elevator, their cost is also nine cents. They're just charging you on the basis where you don't see it. They're not eating margin money for you, right? But there's also a scenario to do it on the board. Let's say you're in the Western Plains and you're worried about hail all the time, or it's been really dry the past few years. Maybe it does make sense to make some sales on the board then potentially for you, right? You don't want to commit physical grain. But there's another group of your bushels that you might not know what elevator it's going to go to, and you don't want to have to leverage your balance sheet to put it up on futures and options, where you probably should think about doing a pricing tool through Farmer's Keeper. 
This is a really important slide. Those of you that have your cell phone out, take a picture of that. And we're recording this anyway. I'm going to send everybody. But that quantifies what it looks like selling your grain through Farmer's Keeper versus the other options that are out there. Grain pricing tools, no margin, play the basis. Farmer's Keeper. Click the link below to supercharge your grain marketing.